All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP. Welcome back. This time we're here with a little more of our Nova Aetis series. Last episode, along with the help of nearly 2,000, I believe, peasant women, uh, we were able to take our first town, Ikemer, Um And we started kind of playing around a little bit with upgrading it and whatnot. Um, it has been quite some time since then in-game. Uh, probably about a month or two. I've been doing a lot of work, a lot of uh, grinding out gold and whatnot, so we're up to 156,000 florins. Um, I have a kind of a fun episode for you guys today. Hopefully. Hopefully this turns out alright. Um, this should be going up tomorrow on Thanksgiving, and so I thought in the spirit of Thanksgiving, you know, the pilgrims and all that, we should finally pay a visit to the New World. So that's what we're going to be doing later. Got a few things to take care of before then. Uh, I was kind of curious about to or about where or what Baron Ferdinand was up to, and he got taken out and got taken prisoner, which I'm not sure how his army of 2,000 got taken out. Um, it's actually, I really don't know how that's even possible, but especially since he's not even the Baron of a castle, I thought maybe he could have stationed his troops in a, in a castle, all 2,000 of his peasant women, but that was not the case. So he got taken out, but just for being such a buddy to us last time, we're going to go ahead and break him out of jail. So let's try to sneak in. We're going to fight our way out. That's fine. Royce is not afraid of a little rough and tumble. Okay, well, all right. Maybe when all, all of them have swords and they're right up in our face. Okay. I'm going to block you. Use our range a little bit, maybe? Oh, what the hell? That was a weird hit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm kind of I'm kind of bored right now. It's Wednesday. Uh, all my roommates left yesterday for Thanksgiving. I'm, I have to wait here until uh, actually Thursday until I can do anything. So I've just been playing some Tiger Knight Empire Wars, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, so I will have a Tiger Knight Empire War video out on Friday that I actually already recorded. That was a ton of fun. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, and then after this, I'm going to try to record a War Sword Conquest for uh, Saturday. We'll see. I'm not sure if that's going to really happen. Uh, Alright, prison guard. I want to speak with a prisoner, and you're going to give me the keys. Whoops. Oh, did I say the wrong thing? What? What? He's ignoring us. He literally won't even let us... What the f... Who is imprisoned here? Well, what the bloody hell? Okay, what a douche. I've never seen that happen before. They lit <laughs> We couldn't even get in. Um, alright. Sorry, Baron Ferdinand. I love you and all, but... I guess there's not really much we can do. I guess we could try to besiege it. Uh... Ugh, bleh, nah. <laughs> no thank you. Um, alright, well, I guess Baron Ferdinand's locked up. He'll have some time to reflect upon his actions of leading around 2,000 peasant women, presumably to their deaths. There's not a ton of peasant women held capture here. Actually, there's 26 camp followers. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. That's one of just those weird things in Lumblade. They probably went home. They're, they're sick and tired of Ferdinand. Leading him, leading them around to sieges, where actually not that many of them died, if you really think about it. I think only maybe 20 or 30 of them died and all that. Okay, the Vagers just advanced to a new technology state. Um, the Swadians actually also did that just earlier, so now a whole bunch of kingdoms are starting to get up there. Um, which means we need to start to get close to starting our own kingdom if we don't want to be left in the dust. Alright, well, alright, let's go back to Ikemer. Um, so, 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 here's what I think we're going to do. By the way, I looted a cannon in between episodes. Um, really don't know what to do with it, to be honest. I guess we could try to get, hold up, first off, we need some supplies, some rations, before we head to the new world. That uh, should be enough. That should be enough. Um... Yeah, I looted that when I was raiding a village, and I was kind of surprised, but I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain. Let's get some cannonballs. I don't know how many we need. Two should be enough, at least to try it out. Um, besides that, I want to get a, my knights out of the garrison. 
really should be all that we need. Don't really want the rest of these guys. Maybe we'll take some of these Crucinian sharpshooters. I don't even know what those are, but we'll take them. Um, that looks good to me. Looks good to me. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we also leveled up, so let's go ahead and do that. And if you, as you can see, our charisma is pretty high, uh, and there is a reason for that. So, um, oh, what? Oh, yeah, charisma is really high. We can actually bump that up twice, or do we want wound treatment? Or first aid? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Hmm. So first aid heals us. Leadership heals our troops. I kind of like that one better. Let me do that. Boop. There we go. Okay. So, um, when we built that church, at the end of the last episode, we were having a church being built in Ikemar. I think that got completed. And for some reason, I think it gave us 100 piety. I think it was supposed to give us 100 prestige, but instead it gave us 100 piety. So we went from like 60 something to 160 something. So that instantly gave us a whole bunch of piety rewards, which maxed out at piety 100. Um, so our charisma went up to 18. Uh, so that answers the question that I'd had for a while now, um, whether or not piety maxed out at 100 in terms of giving you rewards. It does, which is unfortunate. But um, we still got a lot of bonuses from that. I can't complain too much. 10 extra charisma has given us a big boost here. Uh, a leadership of 6 is way higher than we normally get in uh, most series. Like, besides, um, besides Prophecy of Pandora, I don't know many other characters that I've ever made that have a charisma that high. So, we are going to cruise on over to, um, Zendar. Alright, boom, another week gone by. 21,500, not too shabby. Oh, we also got another trait. Um, we got Proven Commander. This one was kind of lucky. I was, like, fast traveling and clicking around when the trait, or when the... Um, random event popped up and I just randomly ended up clicking one of them and we got this proven commander so I'm not sure what I gave up or what I was risking by doing that but we got plus one battle advantage so I'm not going to complain <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that all right so hey what happened to that one trait that we had loyal right one percent renown a week upon staying in a kingdom are we still getting that not sure if we're getting that still um, huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we're going to go to Zendar and go ahead and check out this new world. I don't know if we're going to say hi to the natives. We might. We'll have to see how it goes. Probably, we're definitely going to check out the Mithridian Empire because I've heard a lot about it. And it looks pretty fucking baller. So we're going to check that out. And we might start our own plantation. Might uh, start our own colony. We'll have to see how it goes. Ooh, two people held prisoner here. Hmm. No, we're not going to mess around with them. First off, though, let's buy some... Actually, tell you what, we're not going to buy land here. We're going to buy land somewhere else. Galen! How's it going? How is it going? Okay. Property. Don't have anything here yet. Perfect. I would like... Oh, wow, these are... Is that... That is 80... Wow, that is 90,000 for townhouse. Get a whole bunch of prestige for it. Jesus. Okay. Um. Damn. How much? We don't, even, we don't actually have enough for another one of those. Uh. Hmm. I'll be honest. I didn't really think that was going to happen. How much is that giving us a week? Oh, then we have to actually remember to rent it out. That'd be important. Fifty six hundred a week, huh? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Cannon, we might have to sell you off. We might have to sell you off. I mean, 9200 that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me quick earn some money. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well. Um, <laughs> I tried to go down to Serenid Lands to raid one of their towns, and just as I was about to get there, um... We made peace with them, so I basically just had to wait an entire week for uh, us to get some more wages in. Nevertheless, we have the no we have enough money now, so we'll go back to Yalen and go ahead and buy ourselves another town palace. So we should be making quite a chunk of change every week now, especially since each of these town palaces are giving us fifty six hundred a week. That is a lot of cash. That's a lot of ca whoa! Why are they so cheap now? Strange. 
it got way cheaper. And it continues to get cheaper. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> that is beyond me. Okay. Uh, we actually start to run low on supplies again. Awesome. Uh, that's what happens when we have such a massive army. Okay. We're going to get our troops drunk. And then we're going to get... We need, we need some food too. <laughs> as much as we love to just live on liquor. We do need some regular food to go along with it. We'll get the fish too. Oh, the fish are really cheap. Alright. Hopefully that should last us the journey over there. Let's head into Zendar. And see what's going on. Um, also, boom! There we go. <laughs> we ranked up. My noble lord, his majesty granted you the title of Marquess. Most people will bow before your greatness. Most people. Everybody should be bowing before us. Although Marquess, I have never heard that title before. You are... Th <laughs> what? You are thrusted well, my lord. You are in charge of a march now. A province at the borders of the kingdom. A, a, yeah, a province at the borders of the kingdom. Because of this, a Marquess is trusted to defend and fortify against potentially hostile neighbors, and thus is more important and ranked higher than a count. You and your family are in high esteem now. So next, ooh, next class would be 6,000. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that high. <laughs> we're not getting that high before we start our own kingdom. But that kind of makes sense, though. With us owning Ikema, we're right on the edge of the Kurgits. Uh, kind of the Vagers and the Turgon Horde. That actually kind of makes sense to give us that uh, rank. Alright, to Zendar. Let's check this out. Okay, so, go to the harbor and buy a new ship. Oh, what is this? Um. Okay. You need to pay maintenance for your ships. This is 15 florins per member capacity. Interesting. Well, I think we can get by with just two galleons. Being on sea costs you 30% more. Get two galleons. All right, it's a good thing we didn't use up all of our money then. Got 34 Gs left. Should be all right. Okay. <laughs> Let us, can we set sail though? Yes, we can. Oh, look at us. Look at that. <laughs> looks so good it looks so good okay um first off we're gonna check out this area i want to check out these mithridians how do i get over here find me away boom you traveling now no can you travel okay looks like we can travel wherever i want to say hi to the mithridians is that allowed Okay, some towns. Ooh, a castle. I guess we can just scout along the coastline here. Oh, there's some. There's a lord outside there. 313 in the garrison. Not too shabby. Deserters, Mithridian Imperial Guards. Ooh, those might be fun to fight. Ah, uh, and Mithridius. This is the castle I have heard of. This is the one that looks like Minas Tirith. Whoa. Whoa. The Mithridian Empire is remnants of the old Calradic Empire, having its roots deep in history. The Empire has lost much of the land that once belonged to the Purple Crown. Only the southern islands of Calradia are spared. In order to preserve their own nation and culture, the Mithridians have decided to keep the affairs of other countries at a far distance. In fact, every outsider is prohibited by the four centuries old law to enter the Mithridian lands, dock, and beaches. Breaking such law will declare war. Alright. I'm not going to try... Okay, Ooh, whew, I was worried it was going to make us have to do that. As much as I'd love to check out Mithridius, we're not going to do that. Not yet, at least. It is tempting. <laughs> but we're going to wait until we at least have our own empire. We're not going to force good old uh, Grandmaster Dinicus into a war that he doesn't want. Alright, so they got a decent-sized little army here. Got, what, two castles, three castles in a town? One, two, three, four castles. Four castles in a town. Yeah, not not too threatened by them. They do have some very large garrison sizes, but not too many lords really running around. Um, and it'd kind of probably be hard for their lords to hop across islands. So once again, not entirely scared of them. While we are just cruising across this ocean. Boom. To the real new world. Alright, so there are a bunch of islands over here. I would like to claim some of them. Island of P Pandum. 
Interesting. How about this? Island of Nova. Ooh. Like Nova Aetis. Coates Island. <laughs> uh, Island of... What is that? Senja. Interesting. And there are a couple places over here. Kind of like the idea of the Island of Nova. Whoa, okay. And then the Aztec Empire, just right here. Oh, and the other beaches are over here of the islands that we can claim, I assume. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ixtapexi. Very big. Jungle over there. Santiago. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is this that whole island is called Santiago? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can claim that island since they actually have a castle on it. Alright, well, let's keep on moving. How are we doing on food? We're doing great. We're doing great. That didn't actually take that much time to get over there. Alright, well, let's explore around. See what we can find. Island of Alice. Neat. What do we got over here? Etzt. I believe Etzt was the place that we got in our in our uh, first series on Nova Aetis. Of course, this was all completely different. New Praven. Interesting. Quiba. Fernandina. Fergion. And there's one last island over here. Let's check it out. Asmura. Asmura. What do you got for us? I feel like you have to have something nice to have been hit all the way over here. Can I land here? Asmura. Hello? There we go. Okay. Okay. It produces gold. Ah, I see. I would like to claim this island. We need 15 units of timber, 10 units of stone, and 5 tools. Well, I have 5 tools. Don't have the stone and timber. Interesting. Sail away. Hmm. No wonder that that island got set so far back. It sells gold. Alright, let's check out the rest of these. Let's see what they have to offer. Beach. Mm-hmm. Fernandina. Produces cotton. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on cotton. Oh, no, I do not want to dis disembark. Stop. Fine. Oh, that's cool. Our ship actually hangs off on the side there. Alright, get me out of here. Let me get to here. Okay, cacao. I believe cacao actually sells for a decent amount. Hello? Yo, what's going on? Oh, do not tell me we're stuck. Do not tell me we are stuck. Oh, no, we have to sail away. That's right. Okay. <laughs> if any of you guys are still around from the original series, from the original Novatus, you'll know how much of a pain it was having to get around these islands when the, uh, produces ivory. I bet that's worth a lot. Interesting. Okay. I think that's enough for now. Let's go ahead and head back and try to get this. So what, it, it's 15 timber? 15 timber, 10, to, 10 stone? I should probably actually double check on that. We will, let's see it's, if Etz is still producing. I believe it was cacao before is what Etz uh, produced. We're going to double check on that. Tobacco. Oh no, that's right. It produced tobacco. That's still the same. Still the same. All right. Um... Perhaps should we say hi to the, hi to our neighbors, our soon-to-be neighbors? Once we start opening some plantations, perhaps. Oops, did we set sail? Did that happen? Kind of. We're kind of walking on water. I guess we are going to be the Pope at some point. We are Jesus. Uh, all right, we have to be careful about our pathfinding here. Make sure we don't end up getting stuck anywhere. We should disembark. And Ixtapexi. There we go. Thank you very much. Um. Hmm. Can we not buy stuff here? I guess they might not really have a uh, market. I'm not sure if that's what's going on or not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Well, back to our ship. We're going to go back to the mainland. 
Uh huh. Yes, get me out of here. And I just remembered that I forgot to double check what uh what exactly the requirements are. Even though I'm pretty sure it's 15 timber, 10 stone, I think. Might as well double check. Yes, 15 timber, 10 stone. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's head back to Zenda. Do we have enough inventory space for that? Whoa, whoa, the Vagers are in stage 3. They went from stage 2 to stage 3 in no time flat. That's a little scary. Okay. I see you guys. Not sure I want to see you guys, but damn. All right. Okay, so first things first, uh, I need to get myself another pick, which I haven't had a pick in a while. We're going to have to get rid of some of this food because this is not going to hold. So we have the five tools and whatnot. I think we're going to have to sell this cannon. As much as I wanted to try it out, we're gonna, we don't even have a cannon here to use it. We're just going to get rid of it give us another 10 grand how many spots is this so we're gonna need 25 spots we've got uh what 14 there so we'll have to get rid of a bunch more hmm that was unfortunate all right well it happens any good armor no no okay well i'm gonna go ahead and get started did i get the uh no i didn't okay let me pick up the um the old pick where did it go i swear there was a pick here no am i blind might be blind okay well anyways i'll be back once we have the appropriate materials and we will see if we can't uh colonize ourselves a little island all right all right we are back in business 15 timber 10 stone and five tools we should be ready to go we also got some more money though i so I think before we head out, we might as well buy ourselves another town palace. Why not? Um, I'm starting to think I should have left all these troops back at uh, Ikemer, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. We might, we might do that if it continue if we have to continue to go back and forth and pick up more supplies, which I think we might have to. Um, but for right now, we're f okay. Wow, and the town palace is back up to 92 Gs. I'm confused. Um. So that's renting out for 5,800. Is the other one also renting out for 5,800? It is. So it just goes up and down, huh? All right. I didn't realize rent was like the stock market where it's like one month, you know, you're paying a couple hundred. Next month, oh, bad news. Some wealthy people came in, bought out all the houses. You're paying five Gs. I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, well, that's fine. Ooh, we could join a tournament. No, nah, we're not going to, though. Um, set sail for the new world. Let's do it. So, we want to definitely go to Esmera. I like the idea of gold. Just importing gold. That sounds like a plan to me. That ivory would also be good. Tobacco. I mean, all them, all these things besides, like, cotton. I'm pretty sure cotton's just about worthless. But the rest of them should all be worth quite a pretty penny supposedly all right land here and as mura claim this island boom all right that's ours now or it's part of the iconic order kind of ours um the as so aztecs don't like us anymore Whoa, okay, um, the colony of Asmara welcomes you, this place has no fortifications, build them as soon as possible. So, holy shit, okay, um, populate your colony, that's what we're going to need to do, increase production, view stock, manage defenses, I guess we could build a wooden fort, but that's going to take a whole bunch of timber, ten tools and two stone, Jesus, view colony fort. I don't think... Oh, we do kind of have a... Uh, I mean, it's not really a fort yet. I mean, we do have a really nice-sized moat here. We just need some alligators in this bitch, and we'll be rolling. All right, wow, we built all this by ourselves. Well, I guess we do have our 70-some troops with us. <laughs> it wasn't all of us. Okay, so we need to populate our colony first, and so... Let's visit the colony, use the same thing. Whoa! Okay, construction tutorial. 
congratulations on your first colony. However, from now on, you are having a tough time to make your colony survive. I think that's what it's meant to say. Uh, this is an introduction to the mechanics of colony management. Your main goal is to gain profits by getting trade goods like tobacco and silver. Before you can get them, you need to have colonists. Build houses to provide shelter. Upon reaching a population of respectively 50, 100, and 150, you will get access to new buildings which are needed. To start construction, press B to open the construction overview. Keep in mind you cannot build more than 100 buildings. 100 buildings sounds like quite a lot. Okay. Alright, so this is what we have access to right now. I see. So we're going to need houses before anything, just so we can get a max population. Um, wow, okay. This is going to take a lot, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to take a lot of stuff. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, so... Looks like it's going to be a whole bunch of thatched shacks to begin with. We're going to probably want about, I don't know, five, six of them at least, so we can get 25, 30 people in here. Um, we're going to have to get some slaves uh, in order to get people to come over here. I guess we can always ask them, but, you know, slaves is the easiest method. Um, how do I get... How do I get them to uh, import materials? Here we go. This is what I want. Okay. So for 500 florins a week, we can get 10 timber, 5 stone, 3 tools, or 50 food. I want all that. Boom. Give me all that. Very nice. Okay. Well, I mean, we're making plenty of money right now, so we might as well get that going. Alright, so that should start getting us a little bit of... A little bit of stuff in here, so no defenses or anything here. Okay. Well, all right. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some work in between episodes. But for right now, we've got that started. Let's. Oops. Hold up. Oh, whoops. We have to set sail. Set sail. Okay. So I'll probably leave that for a few weeks, so we can get a whole bunch of stuff imported and then come back to it. Uh, but for right now, we're kind of at war with the uh, Aztecs, so let's get into a little bit of a battle. I'm feeling feisty. Um, there's a beach over here. Are there, is there land over here as well? Tribal town. Ooh. I think I see stuff for us to explore. What the? Oh, is this all one giant town? Or one town? Ooh, whoa. Six, <laughs> six sea pirates are very lost. Oh, you can claim this island. It produces sugar. Mmm. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go visit the tribal town over here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. A tribal town with extremely hostile tribesmen can be found here. Don't make mockery of the warnings. If you don't want explorers to find your head on a stake, don't enter this obscure jungle. I am Roy Saber. I am not afraid of anyone. Whoa, okay. Starting off on a hill. Okay. Give me a... Hmm. This is really cool looking. Not entirely sure what we're looking for here. I thought maybe this was the town, but... Oh, hello. Okay, that dude's running at us. Holy shit, he's tough. 320 experience. These guys are very tough. Okay. Boom. I saw another one over there. Shit. Is this what Christopher Columbus felt like? I'm just, oh, I'm just thinking now. We should have bought three galleons. Because didn't the, didn't the original pilgrims come over in three ships? Oh, missed out. Oh well, that's fine. What the hell? Where are y'all at? Show yourselves. Oh, okay, there you are. Oh my god, they're like blending in. There you go. Oh, these guys aren't worth as much. These guys aren't as tough. They sent their uh, shock fighters at us up front. Now they're just these little guys here. Oh, God, hello. Hit him with a one, two. Durger tribesmen. These guys are all different, huh? What the hell? I swear I just heard someone take a swing. Man. 
this is cool, but it's got me a little on edge. I guess now that we're more in the open, I'm not as afraid. I just wish I knew. Is there loot here? I feel like there should be loot somewhere. There's all these guys running around. There should be a reward for going through all this. And there's supposed to be a village. So yeah, there should be a village somewhere for us to find. Huh. There's none over here, it would appear. Let's uh, go back the other direction. This way. Can we go this way? I think so. Now the question is, do all of them respawn when we do this? God, this is a big-ass map. And what are these... What are these, like, people-sized flowers? Are these actual things that exist? It literally looks like he took the default um, plants and just scaled them up a bunch. I guess it works. Kind of a jungle feel, we'll give him. Hmm. Well... There's probably a good chance that somewhere hit. Oh, okay, there's someone over there. He doesn't see us. No, now he does. Experienced tribeman. <laughs> How experienced can you really be in here? Was he coming from the village? No? Ooh, okay, hello. Jesus. Alright, we're getting out of here. <laughs> That's enough for me. That is interesting. That is definitely interesting. You guys will have to let me know if there's something more that I can find there. But for right now, I think we're going to go ahead and set sail again. And then maybe fight with one of the Aztec Lords since they want to pick a fight with us. I feel like that'd be fun. Set sail. Let's go over to Ixtepexi. Should find one of them there. Oop. Did I see a boat? I swear I saw another boat. I guess the Aztec Lords are able to like go around so that would make sense whoa doesn't allow you to land here leave well fuck you no hey go back don't be a bitch Royce hmm okay I guess since they're angry at us we're not allowed to go into their land can we go over here no alright wow fine <laughs> be that way alright well I think we might go ahead and end it off there so this is the new world is interesting I'm glad we finally got a chance to explore. We revealed a whole bunch more of the map that we just didn't know what was really here. And we have our first little colony. So I'll be working on that in between episodes. And hopefully next episode we can start to import a little of that uh, golden goodness back to the mainland and start making even more money. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So guys, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I'm glad you guys were able to spend a little bit of it with me. Or probably... You guys are watching this not on Thanksgiving. That's fine. The uh, same same principle still applies. Um, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what, you th what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy.